This video is about changing your Kitchler under cabinet lights from halogen to LEDs. So these are replaced already with LED lights and here are the older halogen style. If you touch these, they're hot. Especially if you turn them up more, they get pretty hot. Where the LED lights don't have any heat at all. Now you'll see if you if you go to Amazon or whatever to look at different LED light bulbs, half the reviews you say they don't work in other kind of lights. Now the manufacturers for LED lights are even saying don't these won't work under kind of lights. And these are the typical wedge bulbs that go into these fixtures. But the difference with, between an LED bulb and a halogen bulb is that these guys run AC current. LED bulbs need DC current. So what you have to do is there's a little transformer that takes the 120 volt AC current into these lights and converts them to direct current. And that's what this guy is for. So you need these LED drivers to replace the driver in these things to this guy to run your LED light bulbs. And that's what we're gonna show you how to do it today. It's pretty simple. Just replace these guys in there and then you can run LED lights on these lights. Okay, after removing the fixture from the cabinet, I took out the side screws here and then this whole top plate slides out. And then you can see the old transformer piece that we're going to replace with this guy. It's not much cleared, so this thing is less than an inch. Whatever you get has to be less than an inch. We'll pry this out and basically, both transformers have the same thing. They have an input side and an output side. So the input side is the high voltage coming in. It's marked on this guy as well. So you just replace the high voltage wires coming in, hook it up to the input side and the output wire if you just connect up with the output side. And that's what I'm going to do now. So I pried this, the transformer out. I'm not even sure you call it a transformer, voltage converter, or whatever. So the output is the 12 volt output, which will line up with this output. And that's these two wires. And the input, 120 volts coming from here, the black and the white. And that is this side, the brown wire. So we're going to hook up these brown wires, just replace them. On, Gonna unwrap these, unwrap this guy, and replace the white wire with the brown wires and this black wire with the brown wires. All right, so I got the new LED driver in there. I'm gonna take out the old wedge lights. And these are just basically three watt T5, T10 compatible lights. Sometimes they're kind of a tight fit. And then at this point, I wanna test it before I put things back together. Okay, so I plugged it back in and as you can see, the LED lights work with this driver, looks great. The LED drivers, they are, it's direct current, plus and minus, so it could be, if you don't, I got, I got lucky and hooked up the red and positive correctly, so it was the right way, so that lit up. But you might have to play with the polarity, if it doesn't light up right away, but it worked first time on this set, and it's, I've been lucky so far, and it's worked first time on all these sets. But now I can put things back together, and then start reinstalling them. All right, so I installed it back and you can see the difference in light compared to the, the older halogen light. And of course, 
LED. There's no heat here. Really nice solution. I'm gonna go ahead and change this guy too. It's a, the singles are much tighter fit than the double, but it all does fit. And again, LED light, no heat, and you can use all those LED bulbs you see on the internet. All right, thanks for watching. I struggled figuring this all out. It took me a long time, trial and error. Got it working. I hope this helps somebody else out there with under cabinet lighting.